Okay, so what you're making today is a subunit, four subunits of hemoglobin, and this is one subunit of hemoglobin. Okay, so this is what you're making four times. And you start out with a square of paper that you cut out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip the square over so that you don't see any uh, image on it. And you're going to fold it into a triangle in half. And you can do it as neatly as you can. Then you're gonna open it up and you're gonna fold it the other way. As a triangle, okay? Then you're going to flip it over and there's some dotted guidelines here that you're gonna fold inward, okay? So you're gonna actually push the dotted line and line up those folds that you made with each other like this and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side this dotted line you're gonna push in make sure it creates a point at the top and then now you have a triangle see with the folds inside and you're gonna do that for these two sides as well I'm gonna push this dotted line and fold the triangle and there's one more to do And there's one of four subunits. And you just might have to crease some of these folds here. Then you're going to take four of these and slip them together. The point of one is gonna slide into a, a neighbor, okay? And then repeat that process. Until you have a four subunit hemoglobin. This is our normal hemoglobin because it contains glutamic acid. Okay, and once you get these pieces together, you can put a little tape on them just to hold them together. So you can take a couple pieces of tape and just put them in a couple spots that you think might help hold them together. It takes a little bit of work to hold them together, but you'll get it. Part of the challenge. In this case, I used four pieces of tape, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so there's our normal hemoglobin, and we're gonna make sickle cell hemoglobin as well.